It's the Million Dollar Organizer Show, tips for professional union organizers. Win more campaigns, balance work and family, and leave the competition in the dust. Now here's your host, Bob Odie. Hello, union organizers. Welcome to podcast episode number 29. Let me begin by wishing you and yours a happy Labor Day. I hope you and your family are safe. It's 115 degrees here in the San Fernando Valley, so hopefully the power will stay on and we'll be able to keep cool indoors. In the COVID-19 era, things are likely to be somewhat subdued this Labor Day. Normally, we'd be participating in Labor Day barbecues, parades, camping, going to the beach. Last year, I did a book signing at the annual Labor Day parade in Wilmington, California, and there were hundreds of union members and activists barbecuing, enjoying live music, sharing with their fellow union brothers and sisters. This year, we're staying home just trying to stay healthy. Quick announcement, I've been asked to be a training fellow for the upcoming AFL-CIO Virtual Organizing Institute. So I hope to see you there. It's going to be amazing. Today's topic is three quick tips for virtual union organizing. These are tips I shared this last week at the first ever virtual membership development conference to over 600 of the top union organizers in my union. They work throughout the United States, Canada, and Guam, and I'm happy to say everything went smoothly. There were a lot of challenges, but it was a huge success. Three things you want to pay special attention to when communicating on video are lighting, framing your shot, and background. Virtual organizing is going to continue long after this pandemic is over. It's a way to keep people safe and perhaps more importantly to cut costs, and it's more convenient. Some will argue that it doesn't matter how we present ourselves on camera, but it does. It matters a great deal. And if you want to look your best, you want to make a good first impression, then listen up. Lighting. Light your face evenly. Too little light, and you look like you're in the witness protection plan. Avoid too much light on your face, because otherwise it looks like your face is melting. Watch your backlighting. Avoid bright lights aiming at the lens. And windows in the background are trouble. Framing the shot. Remember the rule of thirds. Keep the pupils one-third of the way down the screen. And by the way, there's a setting for this now in Zoom. Background. Is your background tidy? Does it present you as a top-notch professional? If not, choose a virtual background. Now, with virtual backgrounds, you got to watch out for intermittent or flashing. Are the colors of your clothes complementary? or are they reacting with the background? Very important to pay attention to that. Books in the background are good, but again, avoid windows in the background because you don't want any surprises. Well, there you have it. When communicating on video, pay attention to lighting, framing your shot, and background, and you're going to make a great first impression. Lead the field. Thanks for listening. We hope that you'll subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Give us a five-star review and let us know what you'd like to hear the Million Dollar Organizer talk about. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Union Organizer. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.